What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're looking to get your music reviewed, you can hit up this email that's right here. But today I'm going to hit you up with my thoughts and opinions on this new album from Omar Just called Now or Never. Now Omar is a rapper who's coming out of Brooklyn but currently working out of Jersey. And if you want to find out more about him and check out his music, you can just take a look at the links all down below. But the first thing we're going to get at with this one is all the positives, starting mostly with the content, because I think that's where he has things the best. For example, This One's For Y'all has one of the album's better beats with the smooth vocal lace production, and this is just a dedication to women. Thought it was very touching and heartfelt, especially when he's speaking to those who are victims of abuse. So this was a moment that stood out the most because of the beat and the content, because his rapping I will speak about a little bit later in this review. We also get Wish You Were Still Here and My Song To You, two more heartfelt tracks, this time dealing with the family members he's lost, the first one dealing with his cousin and the other one dealing with his grandparents. So he certainly has ideas and a lot that he wants to speak on in regards to content. That's something I always appreciate from rappers, he is delivering that, but there are still plenty of problems and issues with this project that really make all that stuff not really matter that much. You still appreciate it, but sonically this isn't one that you're going to want to come back to and listen to a lot. So first of all, I gotta point out that a lot of this really just comes across as amateurish. I'm not trying to be rude or harsh, but I'm just being honest. Because the mixing throughout this project is not that great. There are volume levels that really need to be fixed up. In some instances, his voice will sound a bit muffled or lost in the beat. So that's something that you just can't have when you're putting out a project. You really gotta fuck around and make that mixing and mastering tight so people wanna come back to listen to it. Otherwise, it just doesn't sound good right from jump with the audio quality. And on top of all that, Omar just isn't a very engaging rapper to listen to. His flows are often drowsy and straightforward. His vocal cadence and delivery styles are very bland. He's not doing too much to draw you in and keep you interested. And you're even going to hear his flow getting off course and sloppy at times. You can hear all these things, including the mixing issues on the title track, Now or Never. So even though he does bring that good subject matter once in a while, there are plenty of things here that need to be fixed up in order for me, or, you know, I'm just speaking for myself, in order for me to want to come back to a project like this to praise it and say that it's good so these are some of the things right from the jump then you got to throw in the fact that this is about an hour long so it really does start to feel like a slog to listen to because of these issues i think that if maybe he focused on crafting an ep first you know get four or five songs bring that great content pick some good beats wrap your ass off and fix the mixing and mastering even just by doing that i think he could make something much better and it would certainly stand up better than this project but as a whole this one really is not something that i would praise or say people should go out of their way to listen to obviously you should check it for yourself because i'm just one man with one opinion i never try to say what i say is the golden rule but you know i'm just saying i didn't really think this was that great so those are some things that he could fix i also found the production to be a little bit outdated and generic at times in particular on let the show begin and on another level these are two tracks that are kind of bland with the content because he's just rapping about how good of a rapper he is how he's on another level and then there's even a pretty poor attempt at a party jam with coastline party this is one of those examples where the beat is really big you're getting this sort of dance electronic vibe but his voice is getting lost with it and he just doesn't match the energy of this so it doesn't really work as far as a parody track. That said, I really don't have too much more to say about this one. I certainly appreciate his confidence throughout this project and that he put it together, but I'm going to go with a 1.5 out of 5 here, man. There are just too many issues that need to be fixed. I did like a couple of the beats, uh, the jazzy vibes on I Tell the Truth and sample work on the past are good. He certainly has some content and subject matter, but sonically, there are way too many issues here. And obviously with music, that's a big deal because if we want to listen to the shit, the shit has to sound good in all these different ways. So kind of a tough review. I'm not one to try to be overly negative here. I'm just trying to be honest and give constructive criticism. So, hey, man, it is what it is. One man's opinion. You guys check it out for yourself. Maybe you'll love it. And if you do, by all means, check it out. Uh, share it with people. Support it. Let me know what you think. But that's all I got to say on this one. So make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff where you show me love and you show me lots of it as usual. Thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you next time.